Lesson 5 in Photoshop is going to be very important. We're going to go ahead and do this lesson and skip 3 and 4 so that on Thursday and Friday you can work on your creature projects. I'm going to open two files. I'm going to open Cherry Blossom and CSNT. To open two at a time, you hold down the Control button and select them. It's going to open up both those files together, but I want to be able to look at them at the same time. So I'm going to go to Window, Arrange, and I want them beside each other, so I'm going to do it vertically. You notice that the cherry blossom picture is a lot smaller than this other picture, so I'm going to change the size. First of all, make sure that one's the one selected. I'm going to change the image size to an 8 by 10. If you change the 8, usually the 10 will change right with it. <coughs> now you notice this one's pretty large, so I'm going to zoom out. To where I can see the whole tree. Okay, now that we have our two images up beside each other, I'm going to look over here. Now you have one layer. You don't have two layers that you're working with. You only have one. So you're going to take one of these images, the CSNT, and you're going to insert it into the other picture. And the way you do that is you choose your move button right over here. It's an arrow with a little plus sign. You click on your CSNT and you drag it over to the other side. So I'm going to click and drag and of course it's going to do nothing. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. So I'm going to click and and you know what it won't let me do it because I'm recording while I'm doing it so I'm going to hit pause and move it but that's the way you do it. Sorry, some features aren't accessible while you're recording. So now I'm going to close the CSNT because I'm finished with it. And I'm only going to be working with this picture where you see where I slid this over. And now I'm just going to, and it's not going to let me do it again, is it? Nope. Let me pause you again. I'll move it. Okay. So now I have my picture over the cherry blossom tree. I'm going to select my eraser tool. And with my eraser tool, I'm going to erase around my image so that it blends with the cherry blossom. Now, if you watch closely, you can see that when I start erasing, my cherry blossom tree appears in the background. And I'm going to erase pretty close to the couple, not right by them, because I don't want to take anything away that still should be there. But now my image is showing through and we're going to make it look like they are near the cherry blossom tree. Now right now you can see that it's very obvious that I pasted them in there. So we're going to change our <coughs> eraser down a little bit smaller. Not that small. And we're going to erase. Oh and it would really help if you'd zoom in too. It will help me at least. So I'm going to zoom in to my little couple and I'm going to go back to my eraser and now I'm going to erase really closely to where they are and if you mess up remember edit step backward very easy and you're going to erase all the parts around them and while I'm recording, my eraser won't let me slide the eraser, so yours will be very easy. You erase everything that is in that picture that you don't want to show. So, I, of course, I want it to show only the two people. Okay, you're going to do all of this. I'm going to stop there, and I'm going to zoom out. Now, they're not going to stand on that tree, so you're going to move them. And of course my video won't let me do it. You move it with the hand tool back over to the right. And once you move them back over to the right, you stand them in the grass and you save your file as combined underscore image underscore and your initials in your Photoshop folder. Good job.